setting up the actual mediations. When I was assigned a mediation from the state of Florida, it would be it would be sent to me in a brown envelope to my mailing address. There was no notification, no phone call, no pre warning of any kind. It was just they sent me the case, it was in an envelope, and I opened it and here's the name of the parties and all the stuff came from the state of Florida. Um, I would take that letter and what I would do is if they had contact information as in phone number, I would sit down and I would call both parties prior to sending out my letters. And by doing that, what that did was it got them to, well, first of all, I asked them, you know, are you comfortable meeting at the association's attorney's office or do you want a neutral location? Um, and I had prearranged for conference rooms like um, Hilton Garden Inn has a conference room that you can rent by the hour. And it's like 35 or 40 bucks an hour. And I would tell them, if you want me to get that conference room, I can get it, but it's going to cost you half of that 35 or 40 dollars an hour as an expense. And then I would, you know, split it up between the two parties. And that only happened once or twice. Most of the time, we met at the attorney's offices uh, for the homeowners association because it didn't cost the homeowner any additional money. But I would call those people and I would say. Um, you know, I'm, I've been assigned as a mediator for your homeowners association case. I just wanted to touch base, let you know that I'm getting ready to mail out a letter. You'll get a letter from me, Steve Wooden and Associates. That's what I called my mediation firm. And I just want you to know that it's, you know, this mediation is a voluntary process. I went through all of the, almost my opening statement that I would do in the mediation on the phone with them. And that way, I didn't have any problems chasing homeowners and them not, you know, getting my letter and not responding or throwing it away and acting like they didn't know that it was coming and that sort of thing. And I, I found that when I gave them that heads up, it was it was much better. Uh, I got a lot more cooperation, and it was um, it was a much more cordial event when we got to the homeowners association because they they had actually had a chance to vent to me a little bit. And I told him, I said, look, I don't want you to you know, plead your case. My my goal here is to come to a resolution between you and the association. And so I would I would cut them off, in, you know, in advance so they didn't give me too much information because I don't want to take sides and I want to remain neutral and that sort of thing. So um, I found that that was very very helpful to setting up the private mediations. Um, we do also have another question. Um, yeah. What what other types of alternative advertising can you use, or can I use to get my name out there other than business cards and going to associations? Uh, business associations, really. Uh, the, <clears throat> joining the associations through the internet, I did everything almost for free, and I did it on the web. I joined associations, some of them, for free to put your name. In.